Good morning. After a long time, I have come back with the same problem. Chapter is same. Here, chapter is method of substitution. That is, we are talking about calculus. And the main thing is, uh, uh, we are going to perform integration on different expressions, whether it is algebraic or trigonometric or something else. Okay. So here you can see, this is the given problem. Uh, integration of 2x minus y into root over of 2x plus 1 into dx. Okay, and uh, so, uh, so this is a given problem and uh, you know that uh, since I have already mentioned the name of the, name of the chapter is uh, method of substitution, that means, uh, that means here yes, substitution is required since name of the chapter is given, but in your exam, name of the chapter will not be mentioned. So, you have to uh, practice carefully so that just after uh, just after having a look on the given expression for integration you, uh, you can easily identify or you can easily decide how to solve the given problem okay but here since the name of the chapter is mentioned so you know that how to solve this given problem okay format is standard so uh, since the format is standard, so substitution is also very easy. So here you can see root over of 2x plus 1 is there. Simply you put 2x plus 1 is equal to a new value, say it is z square. Okay. So let uh, 2x plus 1 is equal to z square. If you take 2x plus 1 is equal to only z, then also the problem can be solved. Same result you will get. If you take 2x plus 1 is equal to z cube or z to the power 5 or z to the power n, then also the problem can be solved. But if you take 2x plus 1 is equal to z square, in that case, the problem will be easiest. Okay. Uh, I mean, solution will be easiest, not the problem. Solution of the problem will be easiest. Uh, means, uh, in that case, algebraic calculation will be minimum. So here we have taken this substitution and uh, just after uh, making this uh, substitution, you have to differentiate both sides. So I am going to differentiate both sides of this. So on differentiation, the left side, we are getting what? We are getting 2dx and in the right hand side, we are getting 2z dz. Okay, right. So from here, 2 and 2 are present both in the left hand side and the right hand side. So they are cancelled and we are getting dx is equal to nothing but z dz okay so now this thing can be used here to solve the given problem but before that here there is one expression 2x minus 5 so you have to write down this expression in terms of z so from here what we are getting from here we are getting x is equal to z square minus 1 divided by 2 therefore what is the expression for 2x minus 5 therefore 2x minus 5 this is the given expression here this is equal to what? 2 and x means this one. So z square minus 1 divided by 2 minus 5. These two and these two are cancelled. So what we are getting here is z square minus 6. Okay. Am I right? These two and these two are cancelled. So z square minus 1 minus 5 and it makes z square minus 6. Now the solution of the given problem becomes so easy. So here this i, this is equal to what? This is equal to integration of this expression and this expression is nothing but z square minus 6. So I am writing the same here. Uh, z square minus 6 and here root over of 2x plus 1 is there and which is equal to? Which is equal to z, not z square. Okay. So z and and what? dx is there and dx is z dz. So this is z dz. Can you see clearly? Let me check. Whether everything is visible or not, okay. Actually, there is no helping hand while I am recording this video. So, everything I have to do on my own, okay. And so, what is the expression here? Z square, Z square. So, Z to the power 4 is there. Z to the power 4, DZ. Okay, integration of this. And uh, minus 6 is there and Z square. So, you can directly write this way. Minus 6, Z square, DZ. So what is the integration of this? This is one fifth of z to the power 5 and this is what? This is z by 3 that is 6 by 3 
z cube plus a constant of integration c should appear here and what is z here z is root over of 2x plus 1 so now you just put the expression for z to get the to get the result in terms of x so 2x plus 1 this is power is half root is there that means power is half so this becomes 5 by 2 and minus 6 by 3 that is 2 and z is again 2x plus 1 whole to the power of half and 3 is there so 3 by 2 plus c so this is the answer to the given problem okay uh, yeah everything is visible there is no problem at all so you can see that uh, the length of the solution was uh, so small and the pro uh, solution procedure also was so easy okay so uh, okay anyway uh, I don't have any time to discuss anything more on the same topic anyway uh, next time I'll post one more video okay uh, regarding the same chapter same topic will be there problem will be different okay anyway thank you for being patient and watching my videos and uh, and what and have a good day thank you once again